Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's very early in the morning. I don't know when I shut my phone off at nighttime. I go to sleep late at night, but I shut the phone off a little bit earlier because there's no reason to be on. Some people leave their phone on all night and they have a bzz, bzz, bzz. Well, I, don't, I can't do that. I shut my phone off to give my phone a rest and fully charge. Every night, it seems like something happens during the night, like an article will get posted or something is going to happen during the night where I turn on this phone in the morning, some other different news is on. Um, it has now been reported from Walt Disney World News Today that the NBA players that are down, that are now down in Disney World will actually have the chance to go to some of the parks and experience you know going to the parks and hanging out a little bit at special special night hours okay that's nice now not for nothing i think that's nice because i'll be honest with you i couldn't understand i couldn't understand why when it was stated that they're first going down there to the wide world of sports it stated that they will not be able to enter any of the parks. I couldn't understand why. I, I still don't understand why they're not doing it. Now all of a sudden they're doing it. You see what I mean? Disney has a habit. They change. They change their rules every freaking day. This is what they're doing. They just... It, it's, it's very frustrating. I have a few people that... Um, have gone down there they they live down there so it's easier for them they have annual pass holders they went to the annual pass holder day like i stated to you in yesterday's video um very very low capacity i saw the videos i mean there there was hardly nobody there they have the cavalcade of characters that you know ride through and that's nice they have the um, the marching band that rides through. They have uh, the stepsisters that are up at the back of the castle. They have the back of the castle balcony. So the stepsisters are up there. They come out every so often. Every then you have Tinkerbell riding through on her uh, on the treasure chest. Other than that, there is really nobody there. Now my friend went. They decided, this friend decided to wait until late afternoon, till at least after 1 o'clock. He was there after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There was, like, there was hardly nobody. I mean, Starlighters Cafe, who, what happens to be my husband's favorite, favorite, favorite restaurant, and my husband swears he loves their cheeseburgers, their bacon cheeseburger deluxe. My husband my husband craves the bacon cheeseburger deluxe. Um, you know, with the mobile orders that have been going on, you're not allowed into the Starlighters except to, when you make a mobile order, you do it on your phone outside. You wait outside and they possibly tell you to pick up the order and what window to go inside and pick it up. But you can't sit in there. They do have tables outside that you're sitting outside. Wow. They have relaxation stations in Disney World and Magic Kingdom. There are three. One of them happens to be air conditioned, which is over by the Casey's um, near the Dumbo ride where the Casey's train is. In that tent, they have the air conditioning. You're allowed to social, you know, you're allowed to relax in there. Also, um... Cast member preview day happened. I remember seeing the shot through Facebook. Somebody posted it on a, on a Facebook page for Disney. I commented on the shot. A lot of people commented on the shot. We could not believe what we were seeing. Well, lo and behold, that took about, what, three days? This shot just went viral. Walt Disney World News Today got wind of it, did a report on it. I opened my phone this morning. There's the article. There's the shot posted. 
Now, even though you don't really see anybody's faces, but this was a line getting into Seven Dwarves Mind Train. Oh boy. We, like I said, we couldn't believe what was what was we were seeing in the shot. Well, we that actually grown to be true. Um, talk about social distancing. They were wearing their masks. I'll give you that. There were there was a crowd. All together. Somebody says, "Oh, maybe it's one family." All right, cut the stupid shit right now. I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear that. The idea was. Cast members, and it stated this also in the article, cast members are supposed to be setting an example. And they're there to help you people, right? They're there to help the guests. Cast members are supposed to help the guests with social distancing. Where is your heads? Okay. The photo went viral. Disney got wind of it. It is now stated that Certain members in that photo, certain cast members were actually notified. They were actually identified. Some of them, it is stated, some of them will be terminated. And some of them were very heavily reprimanded. Whoever was the first person that posted the shot was probably a cast member. You know, I mean, they could have just posted it as a friendly thing, but who knew they were going to get in trouble, okay? That just goes to show you, if you don't want to get in trouble, be careful of what you're posting. Or be careful of the people around you, because you don't know if they're taking pictures, and then they posted it. So, anyway, everybody got in trouble for it. People got, you know, there are people getting terminated and heavy reprimanded. And I knew, you know, when we looked at that picture, I said, something's going to happen. I said, and they're here to help the guests. And sure enough, today is Saturday. Today is the actual general public opening day for Disney World. In my heart of hearts, I'm just going to come out and say it. Um, I don't see this happening as a big thing. A lot of people are be probably being turned away. COVID numbers down there are actually shooting up sky high. I think they're reported as 11,000 more uh, positive cases. I also heard that 25 basketball players were tested positive. I have no idea if that's true. I don't know. But if the, the basketball players are going to be allowed to go to the parks, I heard Animal Kingdom... I heard Epcot, and I don't know about Hollywood Studios, and I don't know about Magic Kingdom, but they're supposed to be after hours that they're actually able to go and experience the rides. And <coughs> Excuse me. It is unbelievable. It just goes to show you, I mean, you know, I know that she's want fun. I know that she's want to get back to doing what she's doing. We all do. We all do. Yesterday here in New York City, certain malls opened. The malls are opening because they have better filter systems. They were, they were actually, their filter systems for their air conditioners were replaced. That's what they have to do. My mall, however, is not going to open for a while, I hear. I don't understand. I'm hoping that that changes. But we got to do what we got to do. Um... It's just, it's just wild. It really is just wild. Now, today is the actual opening. I want to see within the next week to two weeks. I'm going to keep my eye on the COVID numbers. My husband, um, we discussed our December trip. And to be honest with you, I don't think the December trip is going to happen. He had given me the go ahead. He says, you know, Anytime you're ready to cancel, just make the phone call. So I don't think December is going to happen for us either. I think we just better stay put. Also, the Buzz Lightyear ride, Space Ranger Spin ride, which is the interactive, you know, the gun shooting, you know, the gun shooting at the targets. A friend of mine was going to go on it, was kind of hesitant. 
went to ask the cast member, oh, is there any special things because, you know, you have to touch the guns and, you know, it's an interactive ride. The cast member said, and I quote, we're doing what we're doing to sanitize. We actually sanitize the rides every two hours. Every two hours? My friend wound up not going on that ride. Every two hours. Do you know how many people, just think, how many, I mean, I mean, on a park capacity, full day, when we can't even get on the ride at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, do you know how many people touch those guns within a matter of two hours? You sanitize every two hours. What else are you not doing? That that was like a buzzkill right there. My friend went, you know what? I kind of went downhill after that. He says, so I just kept I just kept walking away from the ride. That was unbelievable to even hear. What else are you not doing? You know, what else are you sanitizing every two hours? My friend also pointed out <clears throat> that he did not see as such as Universal Studios, which is more of the cleaning and the sanitizing people out, cleaning tables, cleaning garbage pails, cleaning door handles, cleaning uh, railings. They were out there, but they really weren't doing what it is that they should have been doing. You really didn't see that much down there. I just want to point these things out to you just to keep in mind. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a very dry mouth because I keep talking and I have nothing to drink. Okay. So that was another thing. These are things to keep in mind. And it's horrible. So far, it's horrible. So far, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is horrible. I just wanted to point all that out to you. Um, today is also the hallmark Hallmark uh, Christmas ornaments, the Disney ornaments are coming out. Last night I went on Hallmark, obviously you couldn't, you know, pre-order any of them, but I seen one that my husband says, you know, I really would like that. I says, all right, we'll try it. I'll try and get it for us. Sure enough, last night, 12 midnight, Hallmark goes on sale, the ornaments, and I picked up the Hitchhiking Ghost ornament. It's one piece. You press the button, they speak, there's lights. Word for word of the Haunted Mansion. Word for word. It's a $39.99 piece. I had like a $2 coupon for my Hallmark thing, so I got it for $37. And um, I'm doing my in-store pickup. Hopefully they'll contact me. But what it is is that they don't want you to go to the store yet. They'll send me an email when it's actually ready to be picked up. So... I mean, I didn't expect it to be ready at 12 midnight. Let's put it that way. <laughs> just keep in mind for Disney World. You know, I, I just, I, I want to wish just a happy opening day. I really do. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, happy opening day. And, you know, it's, I'm not liking what I'm hearing. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. And if the cast members really don't have that much respect in that aspect, to even have respect for themselves to follow the rules, never mind just having a job. <clears throat> You're lucky you got a job right now. A lot of yous don't, I know. A lot of yous probably are not even coming back. And a lot of yous that just did come back are now going to be leaving permanently because of that one stupid photo. One photo could ruin your whole life. This just proves it. This just proves it. Also, one more thing. The Splash Mountain gift shop. They were only letting a certain amount of people in. You know, you do that virtual waiting thing. There is also a picture. <clears throat> and I was thinking of posting it myself. I'll think about it. You don't see the people. You see their backs of their faces. You see their bodies. You know, I'm going to block out the backs of their heads so that you don't see it. But they had, if I post it to the Instagram, you'll, you'll probably see it. They had numerous bags. And I mean, at least four to five bags 
filled to capacity of Splash Mountain stuffed animals. Why is the Disney company, why is this, <clears throat> is the store allowing these people to buy in that size quantity? Why? It should be one per person. Sorry. There were only two people, but yet they had five bags. She had two or three bags. He had two, he, he had two bags. One was over her shoulder. One was, uh, one, one was over her shoulder. One was... You needed to probably hire a mover company to move everything out of there. I mean, I don't understand what is the... You know where they're going to wind up on eBay. Why is the Disney company allowing this to happen? Same crap with the popcorn buckets. And by the way, somebody had asked about the refillable popcorn buckets. One said, yeah. One station said no, the other station said yeah, but didn't explain how they're going to fill the popcorn bucket. Somebody had also said that they're going to hand you the bag of popcorn and then you fill your own damn bucket. I've done this myself a few years back anyway, they did that to me. They gave me the bag of popcorn and I put it, I put it in the thing. So I have no idea about the popcorn situation. Um, hand sanitizing stations, yes, they do have them. The thing with this is that I have seen videos of people walking into the ride, not even using the hand sanitizing station. Pirates of the Caribbean was one of them. I made a comment about this on social media. Somebody shot back, well, you know, sometimes the hand sanitizers, you know, the cast members need to make sure that they're filled. What the hell does that got to do with it? I want to use the hand sanitizer. You want to use it, you should be actually required. You have to use that before you go into the ride. And I think there should have been a sign up doing that. I I bring my own. It's just second nature to me. I've been doing it for years. Nobody has to ask me to do it. It's, it's my daily routine. It's my hand sanitizer. I do that anyway. But I would like, you know, I mean, if I'm going into a store, out of a store, I'll use the hand sanitizer they have. Absolutely. I did it in Primark. Sanitize myself in, sanitize myself out, you know. But uh, enforcing, this is going to be real interesting, especially for today, for the main opening. This is going to be real. I'm going to be keeping my eye on this because I know there's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of videos posted from uh, uh, YouTube distant colleagues. So this is going to be good. But I wanted to mention the NBA players, and that's that's a nice thing. The cast member photo. Um, okay, people. I'm going to leave you now. I bid you a farewell. Hopefully, Hallmark, my Hallmark store will let me know in enough time whether or not to pick this up. It is going to rain very badly today. It rained horrible yesterday afternoon into last evening. It's supposed to do it again, I believe, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. I hear on and off rain steady until 7 p.m. this evening. So we will see. But I want I want to pick up my ornament. <laughs> okay, Merry Christmas in July. Very good. All right. Have a great day. Have a great Saturday. Love to all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Great interaction, which is I, I like speaking to you. I like when you ask me questions. I enjoy that a lot. Thank you so much. Keep your eye on Disney World for today, okay? Happy opening day, Disney. General public. Love to all. Take care. Bye-bye.